Welcome to Zentangle Project Pack 11. This is our wrap-up video. My name is Rick. Hi, I'm Maria. And we're just going to ramble. We, we are collected uh, historical things, uh, fun things, and all sorts of stuff are spread out on this table here uh, to, that we wanted to share with you and, and, and also answer some of the questions that came up. Okay. This is a tile I did when, when we, Rick first handed me these uh, brand new Phi tiles. And I'm thinking, ah, I, of course I have to do an illuminated letter. I mean, I have to do this. So I used the tangle Elish to create the P in Phi and um, put all of my markings in there. And you can see Phi here and here. And here, and then this line here is phi. And I'm going to guess that there is phi. Yeah, right? that dot is phi, and the dot at the top is phi. Right, and this. Yeah, and the other way, the dot. And you can tell uh, that I took care to do that, but I think when you're when you once you get used to this, you're going to do it automatically. It, and it's not like every single piece of art that you do has to be in phi proportion, but sometimes you're going to find that the ones that you end up loving the best are the ones that are are set up like this. So, case in point, I'm doing okay. this totally out of order here, okay. but this is a, uh, a picture of a painting that our grandson Wyatt did when he was seven years old. And it, it, it hangs in the spare bedroom. And we, we <laughs> and for some reason, we decided, like, ah, oh, this is no, just Molly so cool. No, Molly and Martha went in there, and they said, they came out, and they said. No, but we picked it to frame. Oh, and oh yeah, yeah. You know, this was, like, years ago. And then Molly came out and said, yeah, right. Yeah, so what, I have to preface this by saying we have five grandchildren, and we don't have anybody else's on the wall, artwork on the wall, but this one. Snowman, and I don't know. I never knew why. I just liked it. So why did why did this one, uh, you know, Speak to appeal? Us. Yeah. And Molly said, "Well, check it out with the, you know, how it fits with phi." So I got these dividers. These are actually really cool. Um, these, as I'm told, are from the dental in the dental reconstruction industry. Oh God! <laughs> because <laughs> because they. Um, the teeth are in five proportions, so when you had, they had to reconstruct stuff. Anyways, so let's look at this. So from the edge to the edge, well, that's that's sort of interesting, right? It's sort of on that zone. And then over here, if we go to this edge to this edge, well, that that cross piece, right? That's pretty close. That's pretty. And there's the wiggly line I talked about. And there's the wiggly <laughs> line, right? I hadn't thought about that. And then let's look at this. If we go from here to the top, well, this arm, right, comes yep. out right there. So there's all of these, like, crazy phi proportion things going on How about on, the, in the that. the belly button coal? Uh, oh, let's see here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Look at that. How fun is that? The the point here is that I'm guessing why it didn't have one of these no, he didn't. little gizmos, yeah. but there was this being in tune with um, proportion and, and just there's this intuition that like in our first opening video, we talked about how Maria did that in her art. And uh, so this, this is just a really cool example of that, I think. I, you know... This is blowing me away more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, yeah, and part of this is noticing patterns in, in your world. And patterns can, well, and we'll talk about all sorts of stuff about that. Um, one of the things I wanted to, uh, oh, wanted to tell you another story, but I'll put this up. I have this in my office just to show provenance here. Maria did this back in when we first got together, two thousand three. So this is a really cool piece. So it it's uh, light my fire, and this is the symbol for fi. Right, yeah. In case you've forgotten, and uh, it must have been for your birthday, March, in two thousand three, when Maybe. you first yeah, yeah I don't know. we first got together. So this is I forgot that so I had we done had, this. We had been uh, we had been discussing fi for quite a long time. 
Uh, we got a great uh, email or comment on the YouTube from uh, uh, Kelly Holton, and she pointed out something that was we we should definitely mention. And originally, I had said that you know Fibonacci ratios. Uh, have as much to do with math as Sudoku has to do with math. And the reason that I said that is I just didn't want to put people off and thinking, oh, this is math. I don't want to have anything to do with right. it. And that isn't entirely accurate. Uh, what, whole, what is accurate is that uh, Sudoku has nothing to do with math. With math at all. Nothing, nothing. And these ratios have more to do with uh, proportions, and those proportions are arrived at by this brilliantly simple arithmetic where you take one and you add it to itself, and that gives you two, right? So if you take two, or the result there, and add it to the previous number, two plus one is three. And that's as complicated as this gets. And you just keep doing it more and more. And that will give you 5. If you add 5 and 3, that will give you 8. If you add 8 and 5, that gives you 13. If you add et cetera, et cetera. So you, you get it, right? And on and on and on. And the larger the numbers get, when you divide one by the other, you get very close to that 0 0.618, and on and on and on and on and on. And it, the, it never repeats. It never repeats, and it never, uh, it never uh, comes to a definite number. It always right. bounces back and forth, right? Right. So bouncing back and forth, it's called it asymptotically gets closer. Oh, there you go. So there you go. Word Look. for the day. Uh, so but thank you the... for that <laughs> comment, uh, Kelly. Yeah, so Kelly, that was really, really awesome, and we really appreciate that. And we're loving seeing uh, so much of the work that is coming online. Sometimes people ask or are curious, like, some of the things that we got inspired by. And uh, this was a book that we've referred to often. And there's some cool, it's a beautifully done book. And uh, so there's the specifics of it. And one of the things that, you know, you might not have considered as being, uh, so let's take a look at car design, right? So here's- Classic Volkswagen. Right? Well, here's a study overlaying a phi oval, so if an oval was drawn inside a phi rectangle, just like your phi tile, these are all of the proportions that fit, including the diagonals to there, right? Where the wheel is and all of that, just fascinating stuff. So the designers had this thing for phi. Right, <laughs> they did. And, and the, the, the illustrations in this book are so spectacular. So in, in you know, things with product design and Fibonacci ratios. I have one of those. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's, there's a couple other things. Uh, you must have bought it for me because of the, fi the, fi <laughs> the fineness of it. And uh, poster designs, but even old um, buildings. So Suck. architecture, this is a great one. So Notre this Dame Cathedral in Paris. The whole series is uh, designed on that. So anyways, that's a, that's a really great reference. Somewhere in the house is this book. That we can't find. <laughs> Couldn't find it, but we <laughs> printed it out. And this was an inspiration of uh, our Zentangle theme of, of the elegance of limits. was inspired by, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, uh, or her name, I don't know. Uh, the Power of Limits, and it's this uh, beautiful analysis of uh, everything from crustaceans to insects to trees to flowers to the book. human body and how these proportions resonate throughout all of, all of this creation, and it's, it's really fascinating. 
And again, to reiterate, it's the only proportion where the larger or where the whole is to the larger part as the larger part is to the smaller part. And there's only one place that that line can be. And uh, it's, it's magical. Magic. And it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So another way that we can, or that I got an interested in it, was uh, that you will see patterns in time exhibited through the market. So I was looking at price stock market. charts, stock market, and you will see these patterns repeat themselves in time in all, um, all time frames, whether it's like a yearly chart or a monthly chart or a weekly chart, it is, is fractal. And it's fractal not only in time, but also in um, price change. So it's probably a little small on the screen, but if you look at, um, okay, how far that retraced, it's roughly that phi, or how far this retraced Got it backwards here. How far that roughly retraced? Again, right here. It's it's a it's a function of phi. So there's something magical. It's not just in flowers. It's not just in um, insects and and faces. It's in patterns that are in time and and emotions. It appears because uh, this is often a very emotional event. So it, it's just another another aspect and uh, so also people have asked you know where did you you know where did you get these gizmos and i looked online and i could not find any of them of these particular ones but i did have a uh, made an acquaintance online with a, a gentleman named scott onstott and he makes his own and we'll put it put the link in the uh, in the in below, but he makes these lovely wooden ones, and you can see they just they're like calipers and they open up. I can't believe you don't have one of his. I, I I'm going to correct that very soon. Okay. So they work like this, and uh, let's see. He has, has some great. Oh, this is some interesting things. So these are credit cards. You can play with this. You actually have in your pocket or purse, perhaps a phi calculator because the proportions of the length to the width, again, mm -hmm. here's some interesting things that he notes. And he's got some great books on, uh, on phi proportions in art and in, in architecture and even in uh, where things are placed around the world. So we really encourage you to uh, check that out. His books are great. Yeah, really good, and he makes them all himself. So check that out. And before we get to all of the things that Marie wants to show and share of the tiles we did, just wanted to show that when we early on started, this was the first thing that we made, and we very deliberately incorporated phi into the design of our products. So this little corner right here, or even internally, how different components are laid out. See how that meets that bottom line there. Not only that, Rick, Rick likes Phi so much that we only sold our tiles in, in sets okay. of 21 or 35, oh, no, or 34, 21, 34, 55. 55. And what was the, 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 the bulk, I think, was oh, one, I th two. I think the bulk we may go up to one, we play with 108 or Yeah, or something, something like that. But, but yeah. But he still he used the numbers from the file. So Fibonacci all of those file. numbers are very very deliberate. So that that explains a little bit of that. I think that's all the uh, the rambling I have here. Uh, so you want me to ramble now? No, I want you to ramble. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm just going to um, show you some of the things or where where it took us. You know, different uh, iterations of the tiles that we did. 
So the, that was that the first day, right? That was, was that the first, first day. day. Yeah. So you, I, I think I started with this, and I decided that was too busy, and I wanted to have something cleaner, and uh, and then um, this was the the last day, my first uh, tile that I did like that, and it's a little bit different, and they just keep changing. And here's another one with the mollygon, and the mollygon with the phi spot there. Another one with the doodah. I ended up doing the doodah on, on the other one. And I think I'm yeah. going to guess that that center is yep. in that sweet resonant spot, right? So this was just getting me in the mood and the modus. There's <laughs> <laughs> another one. That's kind of, that was kind of right. cool, too. I love this, right? Yeah. And then the diagonals, too. That's very cool. Yeah. And then Rick did this beautiful tile on the on the back. Of course, I I couldn't. After that, I said I got to do one too. So I did one. Da 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 da. Yeah, dueling banjos, guitars, whatever. Yeah. So I did it with Muka, of course. And then this was another spiral I had just worked with, but it it wasn't tangly enough for me to include it in in the instructions. But it it was actually kind of cool. I love this. Looks so shell like, right? Yeah. That is this one awesome. looks like a, a, a nautilus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So a lot of I've I've noticed that a lot of the tangles that uh, particularly that Maria goes with could be like these very fanciful sea or plant creatures. They just automatically lend themselves to it, and when you use these Fibonacci proportions, it it just even more so. Mm -hmm. I like that little shading in there. Yeah, and, cool. and Bijou liked it oh, too. Oh yes. <laughs> So this was from uh, the the initial working with uh, poke root, which is kind of fun. That started here at phi and it went up that way and came down and around and and circled back, right there. That's kind of cool too. And take a look at how she played with the diagonals. So this is a whole other way to explore this. So you know, like this this little uh, trapezoid here or parallelogram. Uh, this one here, these are all, you know, located in phi, and if you play with that, that's that's a whole other way to, to take this. And these were Molly and Martha's uh, meanderings with this particular tile. All kind of and cool. again, see how they, you know, you can either do these clouds and bring them together or hear this sort of like ghost tangling. Mm -hmm. And here is just some more rambling, you know, trying this this stuff and that stuff. Uh, you can see, maybe you can get screenshots of these things eventually, and you can try them too and try to figure out. Because I always would start right where the uh, phi came together. This one here, this I started. Really cool. This one I started bouncing around every other point, and right. then the same with the other, and it. It created uh, an eight-pointed star of some sort, and then just worked and, from and there. And sort of like here as yeah, well. Yeah, I did that again with that. And a different. So I'm going to bet. Let's let's just roughly. Whoops. That if we go here by connecting those parts, right? Mm -hmm. You end up with this rectangle in here, this golden rectangle. Oh, well, there, cool? you, uh, there you go. Did you, right. did you look at that before? Was no, I just, I just How just fun is that? that? Yeah. So these two are really cool, and I, I encourage you to try that technique mm. of, of uh, connecting those I love that. dots. Right? right? Connecting the dots. What else do we have? Here? Oh, this was, I think I, we had already showed, this right. was my this initial was one of that response one. to that. Um Molly had done this, which was kind of fun, working with bold moves here. Love that simple overlay. Wow. Uh, and this was working with more uh, fragments in reticula. I, I would have liked it to do more fragments, but, but there was just so many videos that we could do. There's a bunch of different fragments, and you can see that that's... Uh, phi. Beautiful. 
There's uh, another one. I like, look at this sort of over-tangling here. Yeah, you know, after I was all done, the fragments in reticular on this, then I just swirled things around like uh, a diva dance in, in mm -hmm. simple lines, and then I just kind of smushed them over with my hand. So this is with the, the uh, colored pencils? The colored pencils, pencils yeah. Right? So it, it gave it a, a, a moiré look to it. Beautiful. And this is... Uh, yeah, it, it was okay, but <laughs> you know, it it was what it was. But it's an exercise. It was an exercise. And and the whole the whole point is that you know you explore, you go through different things, and then one is like the seed for this other magical exploration. I love that. Yeah. And we didn't work with the brown pen, but I I kind of liked what it looked like yeah. with the brown pen. And I'm guessing these start. Yeah. Right. So all of them start and finish there. That's kind of cool. And this, after Rick <laughs> showed the sunflower, I'm thinking, oh, yeah? So I found the sweet spot there and started uh, doing uh, spirals off that center. In both directions. Like all the way, and then in the other direction, and then just filling them with uh, uh, fragments. fragments. And that was really fun. Uh, I, I encourage you to try that. That was really cool. cool. And these, I just did when we first got the tiles, just because they were so much fun. I loved the shape of them, but I didn't measure off anything. So when you, you can use this without doing the five, oh, yeah. right? and they're still pretty. I love this one. <laughs> There's really something beautiful. about it that's just I playful. It. I don't even know. This looks like a... Uh, a reduction block, like a, a linoleum cut, right? Oh, right. Or, or when you would like uh, put crayon down and then put black over it yeah. and scratch it off. But I'm just, I'm just curious on, uh, on this one. Okay. Just, just to. Well, it's, it's in that. It's there. It's in that ballpark. A little bit. Yeah. Cool. Or let's see. Right. That's sort of there, right? Yeah. I love this sort of. Uh, th this is a. This is just a great toy. <laughs> and also, you don't forget that diagonals are very strong too. You can yeah. always add a diagonal besides for those well, sweet spots. There you go. Yeah. Right. This was the diagonals on this one. Maybe that's what I was working on. That you can see them there. Well, hopefully, I think this probably. Judging by the comments, lit everybody's fire. I think so too. Right? I th with the comments we've gotten, were so exciting and, and invigorating. And and the, everything that you're creating is so wonderful oh, and so beautiful. And it's different, and that's what we really, really. Yeah. It, it, we're planting seeds and we're giving ideas, and we love to see how everything comes up in in unexpected and beautiful ways. So keep on keeping on. And uh, this was a very fine time, I think. I I love that. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Much love, everybody, and uh, we'll see you later. Toodles. Bye now. Bye.